We just passed, Ellie and I just crossed over into Colorado. As soon as we went across that line, we started seeing trees, just tons of trees. I haven't seen trees the whole way driving down here, down 287, till we hit Colorado. Passed into Colorado, man, when you're driving down there, it's like it turns into trees all of a sudden. I think I said that already. But uh, for the first time, we have internet again. So 4G LTE. Apparently, Wyoming does not like T-Mobile. Um, some of the locals said that also. T-Mobile and AT&T don't work at, in Wyoming, where, at least where I was in southern Wyoming. And uh, locals would say the same thing. Cassie said that uh, most people there have uh, the one that you get from Walmart. It's called Straight Talk for $48 a month unlimited. Shoot, man. Maybe if I'm going across country, that's what I should have done. I know they're like a second-rate uh, provider. They provide uh, second-rate tiering. So they'll use like Verizon towers, AT&T towers, whatever's in the area, but they, um, yeah, they rent the towers. So, which means I could have traveled anywhere and still gotten internet, unlike with just T-Mobile that I have. Pulling into the Colorado Welcome Center. They can't welcome us with any uh, shady spots to park for my dog. So I rolled down the windows and gave her plenty of water. Well, let's grab a map. Oh. <laughs> Damn, it is seriously hot here. Poor Ellie, I don't want to keep her in that van too long. Turns out this is mostly just uh, half of it is a gift shop, and then the other half is just uh, flyers for paid adventures and stuff. It's kind of a sales pitch. Ellie, girl, waiting patiently for me. Oh, you're such a good girl, Ellie into Boulder, Colorado. Uh, the drive down into Boulder was breathtaking because you're coming from an incline and you're driving down into the city. Um, just arrived here. I programmed 24-hour fitness into my GPS because I need a shower desperately. Um, and Ellie and I right now, we're just doing a little re recognizance to find out what's in the area. I'm taking her on the scooter here. We've just been trolling around the parking lot, doing a loop around. Um, giving her exercise and giving me an idea of what's around in the neighborhood. And so far I like what I see. There's a Walmart right here in the same parking lot as 24 Hour Fitness right down there in the background. That's not my van, but uh, I'm parked around the corner. I needed to find a shady spot for Ellie. Also, I know that uh, in Boulder, Colorado, there's a, an affluent crowd, kind of like, not the one percenters, but you're either really wealthy or you're really poor. And um, we've got uh, we've got some boondockers here, so I'll be right at home here in this parking lot. It seems pretty inviting, welcoming. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of trees. But uh, anyway, I need to go get my shower, man. I've been waiting for the shower for a long time. What do you think, Ellie? All right, let's go back to the car. You got your exercise, right? Being a good girl. Hey guys, I just had my first shower uh, on the trip, and oh my god, I feel like I've been rebirthed. But without the uh, the placenta, you know, that's nasty. But I feel so clean right now. Oh my god. Uh, there's only so much baby wipes and and towels in the bathroom. You know, doing like a horror's bath, you know, where you do your armpits and everything. There's only so far that goes. Once it starts hitting like 81 degrees, man, you just need to do a full, full shower. Like, it was so refreshing. Like, I couldn't reach my back, so my back felt really oily and greasy. So, I mean, only a shower can, can fix that for you. And it was a high pressure shower, endless hot water. I just, I felt like, like, there's no end in sight, man. I'm just gonna, it was like 20 minute shower, you know? The soap that they provide is really like low quality. It really like frizzed my hair out. And so I gotta wear this uh, beanie for a while. I even made use of my double-edged old-timey razor, you know, um, and someone commented on it, it's like, what is that, your dad's razor? And uh, I thought that was kind of funny. But hey, I think those double-edged razors are making a comeback. I should make a video of me shaving just so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, and another thing I noticed, like, uh, there's no water restrictions in Colorado. What I mean is like those low-flowing taps in the bathroom where you have to motion sensor, put your hand under it, and it keeps turning off on you and you get frustrated. You hold your finger over just to keep it on. None of that. I haven't, didn't see any of that in Wyoming or uh, Colorado so far. It's just like full blast, hot, hot water coming out. I love it. 
So right now I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna fill up on uh, jugs of water and I need some trash bags for that uh, luggable loo. I used the last one and it's for emergencies. And if I don't have any bags, that's a real emergency. Hey, all right, look at that. Tacos at a place named Wahoo's. Let's not forget the two beers. Oh man, that was some good stuff. I had uh, fish tacos. Get a load of the size of this liquor store. Let's see how far back it goes. This is just the vodka aisle. I should say aisles. This reminds me of some videos that I've seen out of Russia. And now we're in the gin aisle. <laughs> wow. Here's your rum aisle. More of the rum aisle. Jesus, I can't get it. Wow, this is amazing. They even have a humidor and cellar room. I like these fans. They're modeled after aircraft propellers. Oh my god, I'm paralyzed with choice. I mean, I already take a long time in my local grocer trying to decide which beer I want. I'm gonna be here for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna get a Coors. Psych! Oh man, so this is definitely a low point in my trip right now. I came back to my camper van and tried to turn on the light. It wouldn't turn on. Saw that none of the power is working in my RV or in my camper van. Realized that the batteries are dead because I tried to recharge my electric scooter and that thing is like, it's got huge batteries in it. Also, I came back to my van and realized that I spilled over the luggable loo. So there's human feces that are spilled. Uh, yeah, this is like, man, I was on cloud nine. I had just gone out, I had the fish tacos and went to a place where they had all these beers. I, so I bought uh, 12, 12 beers. I was going to come back to my place and just stealth camp in the parking lot. And then this happens. This feces problem. Oh my god. That was my first time using it too. And this is not a good experience. This is a bad first time experience. Oh my god. And so my batteries are dead. How am I going to recharge them? Man. But right now it's just a really awful feeling, man. I'm sitting here in the dark. I mean, this really sucks when you don't have battery power you're just it's just like car camping like you don't have any power at all so i've got my 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 starting battery still but i don't want to use that i'll be really screwed if that dies so actually that reminds me i should turn it off right now turn the dome light off so i don't really screw myself over oh this is a low point guys uh Hey guys, I just bought this three finger diamond ring that you see right here and it tapped out my bank account. Could you guys please send me some of your money? Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Get out there and live the dream. LTD. Later.